Hi, this is Doug for the Full Earth Workshop. Today we talk about the Ragtag Circus, truly one of the great stories of World War II. These American soldiers gathered the unused, abandoned, and blown up German equipment and used it against the Germans in the last big thrust of World War II. After we talk about that, we're going to show you a model created of the Hanomag 251, which shows the colors of the Ragtag Circus. Take it away, Landon. All right, this is really a cool story that happened in late in the war, around 1944 or so. The tank divisions and all of the armor and other mechanized divisions were breaking through the German lines and going into Germany. But a lot of these other infantry divisions were running low on trucks and other vehicles that could take them around. And so the generals were looking around, shaking their heads, figuring out what the heck we can do about this. And essentially, they had all these German vehicles just laying around that they had damaged or had been abandoned or surrendered. They were sitting there and they could be utilized to move these infantry divisions around. The 83rd grabbed any vehicle they could. German, American, anything that they had, and painted it green and put giant white stars on there to identify them as Americans, and they started to drive down the road. They tried to keep up with all the armor divisions as they were breaking through, and they ended up being called the Ragtag Circus. They have all these crazy vehicles all together, and what's funny is they eventually became known as the 83rd Armored Division. They had so many tanks and other sort of armored vehicles in the collection that they are using, they barely resembled an infantry division anymore, and they had a lot of capability considering all that. So we decided to take one of our old models, a uh, Hanomag that we had built probably a year or two ago. Let's go after this and create something that could be used in the 83rd Infantry Division. We used a lot of the references that you see in those photos and try to make it look like this is something that's battle-worn, also distinctly American. And hey, this is an older kit that we had laying around. It, to me, a kit that we'd built. Actually, this was my dad's kit, and he had built it, and I ended up painting it in, in German gray, which was kind of like an early color that they used. We decided, you know, let's, let's repaint this thing. Let's make this a uh, themed model. Let's try to go after this 83rd Infantry Division and change it up a bit. And so I thought it was really fun to make a German vehicle look like an American vehicle. And I thought, man, that's kind of unusual. And I think people, if they saw it, they'd be like, well, why is that in American colors? Um, and they might ask questions. So that's kind of interesting. For the model itself, pretty simple. Um, painted the interior, did all the standard German colors, because I don't think those are typically repainted. For the interior, that was painted Dunkelgelb, which is the German yellow color, I think that's what it's called. And uh, did lots of detailed painting on the seats and a lot of the panels and things like that. Uh, and that's what's kind of cool about this model, so you've got internals and externals. For the outside, I did a standard green and I did lots of washes and oils to kind of make it mottled and look worn. And I had a lot of fun with the mud. I used all different types of mud techniques. Uh, one of the new things I used was this Vallejo mud paste, which we can bring up. And what's cool about that is it creates this really kind of solid mud and it really adds a lot of clumps to it. So it makes it look like, man, this thing's really been driving through some stuff. I did lots of splatters and things like that. And I think altogether it turned out to be a pretty cool model. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it was kind of a fun model for me to build. And what's cool about this as well, it could be featured possibly in future designs. It offers a lot of ability to be used as diorama. As you can see, there are a few little guys here for scale. And we're thinking about possibly doing something later on with that. If you're interested in something like that, leave a note in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. Man, that is a beautiful 135th model. Thanks for showing it to us, Landon, and thanks for the storytelling. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe today is the day. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Full Earth Workshop. We'll catch you next week.